guys, this is a purple prom tutorial, and um, someone requested it. I can't remember who right now because my computer's in the other room, but um, I'll definitely put it over there in the sidebar. But um, yeah, just a really basic, simple purple eye for a prom look. And um, I'm doing this in my bathroom at home again because I got a few comments last time saying that people liked this lighting better. But um, there's not a mirror directly in front of me, so forgive me if I have to kind of use a handheld mirror. But um, yeah, let's just get started. So the first color I'm going to be using is an Ulta eyeshadow color. And the color is Bloom. It's this kind of medium light purple color. I'm just going to be using my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And I already have my Urban Decay Primer Potion on, so just use whatever primer you use. Tap off the excess, and this is just going to go right on my lid. I'm kind of using the camera screen as a mirror. And then, same on the other eye. Okay, so you just kind of have that nice purple wash of color. And then I'm going to be using one of my Bare Essential shadows. And actually this color is also called Bloom. It's this kind of darker purple, not too dark. And I'm going to be using my, um, my MAC 217. Um, the Sony Cash Look Blending Brush would work just as well. Just any really good blending crease brush. And if you guys watch my... Um, last tutorial which was like a neutral look with a pop of color I'm going to kind of use the same technique there. I'm going to use um, a kind of lighter crease color blend it out and then I'm going to go back and use a darker crease color so just tap all that excess off because it is a loose shadow and kind of use the lid to work it into the brush you just want to make sure you don't have any excess left on the brush so there's no fallout and then I'm going to be using my handheld mirror here so Sorry if I'm not looking at you guys, but um, just put that in the crease. Just kind of draw your line. And then start blending out and up. You can get a little bit onto the brow bone, that's fine. Just kind of make a blended look. And you kind of want to focus it on the outer part of your crease. You can go in a little bit and keep it focused out here and then up a little onto the brow bone and then I like to add just a tiny bit to the outer half of my lid right there and then I'm going to pick up a little bit more for my other eye and again just be really careful because it is a loose shadow so when you first get it you're going to get like a ton on your brush like okay look at all that in the lid that's why I just tapped off for my brush from dipping it back in the pot so same on this eye. Kind of define your crease first and then blend it out and up on your brow bone a little bit. And a tiny bit on the outer half of the lid. So I'm going to be using a much darker crease color. I'll just get this lid back on so I don't spill it. And for my darker crease color, I'm going to get an Essence of Beauty crease brush. It's like a smaller crease brush. Or if you use MAC brushes, um, the 219 would be really good. And the color I'm going to be using now is MAC Graphology. And that's this really dark matte purple. And just if you can kind of find like an eggplant matte purple shade. That's great. So just get it on there, tap it off really, really well. Again, you really don't want to fall out here, especially if you're already done on your face makeup like I have. And then just find the natural crease of your lid and just kind of put it right in the outer two thirds of your crease. Just draw a line. It doesn't have to be blended or anything yet. We're going to blend it out in a second. But you really want that defined look to kind of make the whole eye darker. So you see compared to the side of this eye. And then do the same thing. And 
Okay, and then go back and pick up your 217 or your whatever blending crease brush you used for um, the loose shadow a second ago and just kind of go over that. You want to soften the line a little bit, but you don't want to blend it out too much because you still want that part of your crease darker than the rest of it. So blend it a tiny bit, not too much. You just kind of want to soften it. You don't want to get rid of it entirely. So now like, if you compare this side to this side, this one's kind of softer. I'm not sure how well you guys can tell. And blend this one out. Okay, and then um, I feel like I went a little bit high up on my brow bone when I was doing the Bare Essentials color. So I'm going to use my um, standard highlight first, and that's the Body Shop Cream, or Vanilla Cream shadow. So it's just any kind of like ivory matte shade. I've got that on my Essence of Beauty Dome Shadow Brush. I'm just going to put that on my brow bone and kind of blend the edges of that Bare Essentials shadow. Same on this eye. And down around the corner. And then um, to highlight it more, I'm going to take um, another clean Essence of Beauty crease brush, just another small brush. And we'll be using Max Vellum, which is this color right here. It might kind of broke a little bit. And it looks white but um, in the pan, but when you use it, it actually has this like bluish purple iridescence to it. So I like using it when I do blue or purple looks. So I'm just going to put that in my inner corners. And then use the highlight brush that I just used to kind of blend it up and over. So it kind of has this, it kind of has this bluish purple shimmer to it. And that's about it. Um, if you have a purple liner or want to go back and use um, the dark purple colors such as Graphology as a liner, you know, go ahead and do that. Um, I don't really want to use liner tonight because I actually am going out with some of my friends and I don't feel like using it. But um, basically for prom you want to kind of focus on one area of your face, either your eyes or your lips to highlight, and the other one you want to be really, really um, neutral. So since if you're doing the purple eye, you're obviously highlighting your eyes, just use like a really light gloss. Um, this is the MAC Viva Glam 6 Special Edition. So it's just like a really light pink. And then for blush, um, I am going to use tonight, this is actually a discontinued item, it was limited edition a long time ago. But it's a MAC Beauty Powder and Pearl Blossom from the Barbie Loves MAC Collection. It's just like a light pink blush. It gives just like a hint of shimmer. So I'm just going to apply that. Hold on. Sorry guys, my camera was about to cut off. But like I said, I'm just going to apply this to the um, cheekbones. To kind of give like a really light pink color. And just a tiny bit of shimmer. But like I said, if you go really dramatic on your eyes or... You know, want to highlight those more. Your cheeks and your lips need to be more neutral. If you want to do something dramatic on your lips, like maybe a red lip, um, tone down your eyes a little bit. So, yeah, that's my prom look. Um, for mascara, you could, you know, if you want to do the purple look, you could use a purple mascara like the um, Benefit Bad Gal Plum, which I've talked about before. But um, since I want my eyes to be like really dramatic and really full, I'm going to be using my Lash Blast. And then I'm just going to take a couple pictures for you guys. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching. Bye guys.